Puppet Radio. Oh, well, we're here at Transworld 2021, and we've been walking around all the different booths. It's our first Transworld that we've been here, and uh, just really excited to be here. So you guys have, what do you do? You do a YouTube channel, right? That yeah. we're on right now, we, we, yes, this, we is, do, this is it, huh? We do a YouTube channel, the Psychotic Circus of Savannah. Yeah. Um, we also do a home haunt as well that ties into that, and we never expected to get into the YouTube thing, but it's working really well. I've seen some of your videos, they're well, they're well done, so I'm glad you came out to see Scare Badges. Definitely, definitely. This, this time, so. Yeah, we're actually, we're talking about it with all of our actors. We need to do something to keep them all engaged. To return right. every time uh, we, we do a, a home haunt and this seems like a really great idea you want to kind of tell me a little about it yeah so um, my partner he's in Canada he couldn't be here because Canada is still kind of locked down right now he came up with the idea of creating scare badges he was at a, a an airport and he went back to the hotel to think about this idea he saw a bunch of Cub Scouts so he's like you know what one thing I didn't see was something to wear you know, something, a merit badge system. Like a badge uh, of honor. Badge of honor. We're just now getting started. I mean, it's we're three years in, but we continuously add. I think our first designs, we had maybe five. I think we have 15 or so now. We, um, we started off with our attendance badges. So if you make every single night of the hunt, you get a gold border. Those kind of pop on the uniform over on this side. They kind of They kind of stand out. A lot of a lot of actors are trying to make those nights every single season just to get that gold water badge. Right, right. You know, we have everything from five year stripes, Haunt Widow. My wife gets a Haunt Widow badge because she doesn't play Halloween. Um, she supports me. So That's she, something she needs to wear year round, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> stick one on her purse and her jacket. And, uh, haunt couples. We got a lot of people coming by and grabbing two of those because they're haunt couples. They're all iron on. You know, we got build crew, makeup team. Behind the scenes are people for like ticket takers and haunt moms and guys that are helping out, help make the haunt run that don't get, you know, they don't get that much appreciation. So I see I see you got some here, the, the urination. Yes. That's one of our one of our most talked about because you know, it's always happens. Some people don't talk about it, some people keep tallies about it. So every year our actors We'll have, um, they'll keep track every single, I got two tonight, I got three tonight, made a Peter Pants, I got, <laughs> so at the end of the year, uh, we keep tally, and then the top three guys get the urination badge. It's a very inventive way to, like I said, really keep your whole staff engaged. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised that uh, it, it took this long for someone to come up with that idea, you know? Right, yeah, it's, you know, you see a need, you feel a, feel a need, right? So, so it kind of makes, and it's a recognition of your your team. Yeah. You know, so oh man, this is cool. They they you know, and then once that haunt becomes known to give away scare badges, then they kind of keep on coming back. Well, wonder what I can get this year. You know, maybe I can get the you know the crowd favorite this year or the actor of the year. They like to compete for them. Yeah, I think it's a good idea for uh, somebody who is actually running a haunt as well to you know really make it different from my haunted house versus the guy that's down the street really get the the staff involved this is cool this is really cool this is really cool thank so, you so uh your podcast yes hot topic yes how did you get into that hot topic started um some of my old followers were even bringing up scary visions i was scary visions blogger for years um my brother got me in a haunting about 17 years ago, 18 years ago, and he was doing a haunted attraction, another haunted attraction, so we would build and set up an act at this other haunted attraction. Well, that place closed down, so I needed an outlet. Like you, a YouTuber, you gotta be in the industry. So I started a Haunt Topic podcast, got with Daryl Plunkey, who's also the co-owner of um, Scare Badges. Mm -hmm. We just started, you know, maybe we should start recording ourselves talking i mean podcasting this was nine years ago eight years ago when, we pod, when podcasting was in its infancy yeah when it was just you know starting out you know so the first couple are like yeah just interviewing some people talking about different topics they said well each show is a different topic why don't we call it hot topic so we used to go to trade shows i'd walk around just like you're doing walk around record different shows we, all of our uh, episodes are free. You can find them on Apple, Google, 
we're everywhere. So just type in Hot Topic Podcast. I'll, we have like 120 probably episodes out there. Yeah. One a month that we're putting out right now. So. Okay, cool. That's yeah. cool. Well, def- you guys definitely check out the Hot Topic Podcast. And actually, if you're getting the audio right now, you're listening to us right now. That's right. You'll be listening on Hot Topic Radio. <laughs>